He is known for being an American novelist and psychologist who has achieved recognition for his popular mystery novels. He is recognized for his Edgar and Anthony award-winning novels that feature the character Alex Delaware. His name is Jonathan Kellerman. In the world of mystery novels, one name stands out, Jonathan Seth Kellerman, an American novelist and psychologist who has captured the hearts of readers with his beloved character, Alex Delaware. Born on the vibrant Lower East Side of New York City, Kellerman's family made the trek to Los Angeles when he was just a young boy of nine. After graduating from the University of Southern California with a doctorate in psychology in 1974, Kellerman began his career as a staff psychologist at the USC School of Medicine. He later became a respected clinical professor of pediatrics, all while nurturing his passion for writing. In the quiet of his garage at night, Kellerman penned his first novel, When the Bow Breaks, which was published in 1985. It was a long road to success, as he had faced numerous rejections along the way. Despite the challenges, Kellerman's perseverance paid off, and he soon found himself juggling a successful career as a psychologist with the demands of being a best-selling author. Eventually, in 1990, he made the bold decision to leave his private practice behind and dedicate himself fully to writing. Since then, Kellerman has written over 40 gripping crime novels, captivating readers with his intricate plots and rich character development. His talents extend beyond the realm of mystery, as he has also ventured into non-fiction and children's literature. Jonathan Kellerman, born and raised in New York City, had a diverse upbringing. His father was an aerospace engineer while his mother was a dancer and office manager. After moving to California, Kellerman pursued his education at UCLA, where he obtained a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology in 1971. While in college, he showcased his artistic talents by working as a cartoonist, illustrator, journalist, and editor. Additionally, he taught guitar to make ends meet. Despite winning a Samuel Goldwyn Writing Award for an unpublished novel he co-wrote during his senior year, Kellerman intentionally avoided a career in screenwriting. Instead, he enrolled in a Ph.D. program in clinical psychology at USC. In 1974, he earned his doctoral degree and conducted research on childhood psychopathology, publishing his first scientific paper at the age of 22. Kellerman's career path led him to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles-USC School of Medicine, where he became the founding director of the psychosocial program in the Division of Hematology Oncology. His research focused on the effects of psychological isolation on children with cancer, leading him to develop a comprehensive approach to minimize the negative consequences of intense treatment. His groundbreaking work became the template for providing emotional support to pediatric cancer patients and their families. While at the hospital, Kellerman conducted further research and published extensively on various topics, including disease impact on adolescents, disease-related communication, pediatric pain management, and the neuropsychological effects of chemotherapy and radiation. In 1981, he authored a book for parents titled, Helping the Fearful Child, Drawing from His Expertise in Anxiety Disorders. In 1985, Kellerman's career took a thrilling turn when his first novel, When the Bow Breaks, became a bestseller and was adapted into a TV movie. Since then, he has consistently released one or two best-selling thrillers every year. His experiences as a practicing psychologist and his involvement with the legal system as a consultant and expert witness have influenced his captivating storytelling. Jonathan Kellerman now resides in Los Angeles with his wife, Faye Kellerman, who is also a renowned crime writer. Their philanthropic efforts have spanned several decades, supporting institutions such as the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles Division of Hematology Oncology and USC's Department of Psychology and Thornton School of Music. They have also made significant contributions to educational institutions, art museums, and music festivals. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.